have been waiting for 23 years for this agreement and the climate is changing, changing it every day. Now Mexico uh, is, is being hit today uh, by the, the most stronger hurricane in the, in the Pacific, uh, from the Pacific Ocean. And we were hit for, by two hurricanes two years ago. Uh, one year ago, we were hit for one another hurricane. Now this year, uh, we have been hitting again. So for us, for Mexico, uh, this agreement is, 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 is urgent. We need to act. We cannot wait for the perfect word, the perfect phrase. Or we need to um, uh, start to work in uh, trying to increase the resilience of our people. Uh, now we have a lot of uh, communities uh, in vulnerability, uh, but also affected by different uh, weather events. And we really need uh, to uh, respond to the necessities of our people. That's why human rights, the gender equity, are part of the position of our country. Not only because uh, we are seeing that they are suffering, because they don't have uh, the, the uh, they, 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 we cannot blame them uh, for the problem that uh, it is created by the developed countries for many years uh, and now uh, they are facing situations that they really cannot solve as the hurricane that uh, is affecting right now in Mexico. We are evacuating the people from uh, Puerto Vallarta and they are moving to other cities. And who will pay for that? Who will be the uh, institution or with what kind of resources we will face a change in their lives? We need to solve the problem as soon as possible. We need to reach an agreement and we, we need to mobilize all the resources new technologies, not only for mitigation, also for adaptation. Uh, we need to create more uh, capacities in local communities, in the uh, national governments, uh, to face this uh, problem that is perhaps the, the worst problem that humanity is facing.